So I decided to pass on the Master Grade Lunamaria Hawk Gunner Zaku when it came out. Because I just built the Master Grade 2.0 Freedom and I didn't like that design, that redesign. And then I saw the um, Slash Zaku Phantom, the P Bandai one, on eBay for like almost half the price. It was close to the actual Lunamaria Hawk version. So I got it. And I have completely reconsidered my opinion. I really like it. It's not that different. It's like enough. I think it, it, to me it gives me a kind of super robot ro uh, super robot vibe in terms of like the proportions and everything. And I really like the colors here. I like the uh, the soft blues with a little bit of orange for like thrusters. Oh, if they ever if I ever see the Lacus Klein Concert Zaku for a decent price, I am picking that up cuz now I want them all. I uh, I made a grave mistake. And like even the head looks good. I like the little weird teardrop uh, teardrop shape in the face. Very much like the uh, Destiny. Got a little sticker there for the mono eye, which you can rotate if you take off the helmet. Most Zaku's either you have to take off the helmet or you have to like you can actually just rotate the head to do it. And speaking of posability, everything is nice and stiff. Has a nice extra hinge in the wrist, and uh, you have swappable fingers. You got. A decent amount of fingers to swap for all your uh, posing knees. Even has a pretty nice torso joint. Skirts can get out of the way to let the the legs do their thing. And even the uh, I think these hoses are like ball jointed, so you can get the knee bent without anything getting in the way. Very nice. And my ankles here, nice and stiff, which is going to be good when the backpack comes into play. My only real complaint with this thing is the shields. Um, they could have been a little thicker because you got the Heat Hawk. I think they still call it Heat Hawk in Destiny. But it's supposed to be stored in the shield. You see, like, they like to reuse their animation where you have the shield comes out like this. And then the axe pops out, but there's nowhere to put it in. Like, they couldn't have thickened it a little bit. Once again, it's a redesigned. It's not exactly like it is in the show. So you could have done that. You could have made it a little thicker, the black part a little thicker, or the uh, white part here, and had the uh, the axe stored, because you know, you just take these parts out. I don't know why they didn't, but they, they didn't. So that's kind of frustrating. Like, I think they missed an opportunity. So I, that's one thing I really don't like about this uh, kit. I think that's pretty much it. And you get the beam rifle, which I keep wanting to call it a machine gun because that's what the Zaku 2 is from Universal Century, but no, it's a beam rifle. And fits fits really well in the uh, trigger finger hand. You just have to like push it into the fingers. And it's got like this weird groove that make it fit really well. And if you don't want it there, let's get that off. You just have to fold over the uh, the ammo. And then you have a little panel here you can fold down. And I wish this pay kind of collapsed, but it doesn't, just sticks out. And you can, I find I have to kind of push the uh, panel back up a little bit to keep it in place, but yeah, you can have it stored. Not the best on mine anyways, it's, it could be a little tighter, but I guess I could just put a little bit of glue or something to thicken that peg. Not a really big deal for me, because I'm going to have them hold it. But what I'm also going to have them hold is one of the signature accessories that this version comes with, and that's this giant heat hawk. It's probably called something specific, but that's what it is. And it looks amazing. Got these cool beam effects here on the end. Looks like it has pistons in here, but they just kind of go into the groove in the white. And you can collapse it. Because this thing can actually be stored. You have a long staff, and then you have a shorter version. So once you switch them out and collapse everything, you got that. Nice little compact axe. Which also pegs onto the back in that little uh, panel there. Which I might hold it there because this axe is very big. Like, it's going to take up a lot of space on my shelf. And I like the fact they have all these little grooves in the uh, handles, so you can... Without much of a, of a fuss, you can just kind of push it into the fingers, just like the uh, beam rifle. And it'll hold really well. That looks cool. Maybe I will display it with this, because I really, 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 really like it. And the final thing that it comes with... Oh, I did forget. You get two of these. You get two of the little axes. So, dual wield axe. But yeah, you get the backpack, the wizard pack for the uh, Slash Zaku Phantom. These cool Gatling guns on the back. Which, you can pose them, you can move them up and down. I like to move them in and out. 
and really tight connection on the backpack. Just goes right in, nice and solid, not coming out at all, at least not on mine. And yeah, they pulls them however you want. I like, like I said, have them out a little bit. Once again, a little more Super Robot Wars or Super Robot in general. Yeah, th oh, this thing is so good. I really wish I hadn't slept on the uh, Gunner Zaku. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna find it, and get it, see if I can find it in stock. But yeah, I want the green one. I want the pink one. I want the uh, the um, Luna Mario one. I don't think they came out with the uh, uh, the black one yet. Which was for uh, what's his face, Diarca. But yeah, I have a new, a new goal: all the Master Grade Zaku Warriors.